12 weeks, friends. 12 weeks of different poi tricks that have taken us through an enormous variety of different ways that we can move these tools. We have learned all kinds of stuff that has both been frustrating as well as awesome and everything in between. And today I'm going to try and make it all come together in a single poi combo for you all. Let's see how I do on this. Drex here from DrexFactory.com, bringing you poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I am giving you my last combo of quarantine and putting as many pieces together as I possibly can. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Holy smokes, fam. Um, it is threatening to rain and there have been like small bits of droplets that have been coming down this far and everything, so I'm hoping that I get all the way through this. But I just wanted to take a minute to talk about how amazing an experience it has been to spend these 12 past weeks weeks trying to put together a series to take people from like literally not being able to spin poi at all all the way up to what I would consider to be more or less intermediate stuff with like some serious flow under your belt. If you've been following along, you should give yourself a round of applause. Now with today's combo, I have done something that I have not tried in at least two months in that I have put together this combo with 12, count them, 12 tricks. I don't know if it actually breaks out this way, but the intention was to take one trick from each and every week that we have been working and see if I could put together a combo that was going to use all of them. Um, you can fact check on me and let me know if I actually managed to pull that off, but we're going to try anyhow. So the 12 tricks that you're going to need to know in order to do this combo are you'll need to know how to do thread the needle as well as how to do pendulums and together opposite. You're also going to need to know how to do anti-spin flowers in together opposite, and you're going to need to know how to do chanets in together opposite. Next, you're also going to need to know how to do a three beat weave, as well as the throws that we were playing around with yesterday. You're also going to need to know how to do windmills, as well as the cap that we covered a couple weeks ago, the uh, thing where we were doing split time, same direction, and wall plane. You're also going to need to know how to do uh, split time, same direction, flowers, uh, anti-spin flowers uh, in wheel plane and everything. Uh, in addition, you're also going to need to know how to do that basic hybrid that we talked about a few weeks ago. Um, in addition to being able to do corkscrews and, God help me, I think that's it. No, crossers, that was the last one, yay. So I'll include a playlist to the tutorials for all of these different moves. That's gonna be such a long list. Down in the description for those of you all that wanna catch up before diving into this one. Uh, I will go ahead and show the combo to you at full speed, then explain it, uh, going through it piece by piece, and then showing it to you again in slow-mo, yeah? So given the fact that there's so many tricks in it, it really doesn't feel like a whole lot. And that's deliberate. I was trying to make the transitions back and forth through everything feel relatively intuitive and to not dwell on any one thing for too terribly long. So let's start to figure out what all the pieces of this are. First up, we're going to start with a little bit that's going to be doing a thread the needle once, twice, three times, and four times in, on the last time, we're going to swing these poi out and around to bring them around in pendulums, going through the center twice, yeah? After the second time around, as these poi go out to the sides, we're going to let them come over our hands and go down and around in together opposites anti-spin flowers a couple times, yeah? From here, we're going to let the poi stop out to the sides, and we're going to let them sweep past our hips as we do a shunne 
off to stage left, yeah? Now, once we reach stage left here, I'm gonna go ahead and give my left hand a little bit more momentum. We've done this in a couple combos in the past 12 weeks, where that's gonna pull me into split time, same direction, I'm gonna take a couple steps forward as I do a forwards weave, yeah? Um, coming out of the forwards weave, I'm going to go ahead and release my right hand poi over on my left hand side here into an in-spin throw. Now coming out of that in-spin throw, I'm going to keep my left hand high and I'm actually going to bring it back behind my head. The reason for this is that this is going to start me into a windmill. I don't care how many reps you do up here, but what I do care about is that coming out of it, you're going to do big broad arms and you're going to give me this uh, cap that we've been doing, going back and forth between um, extension and anti-spin in wall plane here. And we're going to use this as a transition to get into doing a wheel plane split time same direction anti-spin flower. How that's going to work is that as I'm coming out of the cap and anti-spin here, the point where I've got one point up and one point down, I'm going to turn over to my left hand side and as I do so, I'm going to let my left hand poi switch from being in front of me to switch to uh, over past my left arm here, yeah? It's going to look like this. As I come around, I'm going to switch the sides on that so that it'll wind up on this side of me by the time it hits the bottom of its path, yeah? Again, I'm going to hang out here for a moment just kind of doing my thing in split time, same direction. And I'm going to try to come around to a point where I've got my left hand up high and my right hand down below. At this point, I'm turning back into wall plane and that's gonna be what brings me into my hybrid here, my four pedal anti-spin versus two pedal in-spin, where my hands are uh, in split time opposites. Now that I think about it, there's a really interesting thing going on in this combo that our hands go through every timing and direction combination. So that's pretty sweet. Um, from here, I'm going to go ahead and stop when my right hand is up high and my left hand is down below. And I'm going to go ahead and do an extension around and come back into this cap for a second here where I'm going down and around and then up and around. And off of the point where my right hand is up high and my left hand is down below doing the extension and everything, I'm going to use that to bring me around to entering a crosser. What that's going to look like is that my left hand is going to go over top and around back behind my shoulder to get me into this spot, right? So from here, to get back out, I'm going to need to return to that three beat weave. So I'm going to let my right hand come around on top of my left hand going behind me here. And I'm going to do my weaves for just a second here before I stall out both poi over to my right hand side. From here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into some corkscrews and I'm going to kind of take these big broad steps with almost like I'm a giant marauding a uh, small village of Lilliputians below me and everything. And finally, let them come to a rest down over to my left side and give blue steel because it is one of my combos, right? Okay, so that entire thing from the beginning, God help me here, we have thread the needle into our together opposite pendulums, into our together opposite anti-spin. We do a chenet in together opposite, step forward with a three beat weave. We do an in-spin throw into windmills and we come around into our cap, which we then use to switch into a split time, same direction anti-spin flower going in wheel plane right here. And we keep on doing this until we can bring the left hand high and the right hand low and switch into our uh, hybrid right here. And then when we get right hand high, we switch back into an extension and our cap. From here, we go into our crosser and we unwrap into a three beat weave for just a second and we stall both of our poi, get into our corkscrews and bring them down to a rest. Goodness, let's see that again in slow mo.
All right. That was a lot, and I'm really impressed with myself for remembering all of it. And I'm even more impressed with all of you guys for getting all of this down over the course of the past few weeks and everything. It has been really amazing learning and growing with you all in the past three months. Pretty please, show me your version of this combo. Uh, go ahead and shoot video of yourself doing it and post it to Instagram or Facebook and tag me so I can check out your hard work. I am Drex Factor on Instagram and Drex Factor Poi on Facebook. And I can't believe that I'm thinking of this uh, 12 weeks in, but um, if you're gonna tag me on Instagram, also hashtag me, hashtag either Drex Factor or Drex Factor Poi, because that's much easier to go back and search through than people that just at me and everything. So. Pretty please post some videos because I want to see your version of this. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment because it will help people find this video and all the videos that I've done in this series. Seriously, those of you out there who have been getting on board with my channel and everything over the course of these past three months are my absolute heroes. Thank you. So if you have been enjoying this project, if you have been enjoying me doing this for the past three months, posting a new tutorial every single weekday, please consider signing up to support all of my hard work over on Patreon, like all of these nice folks did. Um, I am beyond grateful and I feel beyond blessed that of all the things that I've had to worry about in the past three months, making rent has not been one of them. And Patreon is the reason that, that was possible. I just want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you that have signed up over the course of these past few months for putting me in a place where I could focus on creating the things and being able to help other people do things that would get their mind off of the craziness of the world and everything. Um, it really means a lot to me. It means more than I can possibly say. And for those of you out there that have been appreciating this work and would like to see it continue in the future and everything, uh, please consider going over and signing up at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Uh, you can get early access to my content as well as a say in topics that I pursue in the future, plus which um, I sometimes post some behind the scenes stuff there and I might be adding some new rewards in the coming weeks as well. We'll have to see. And here we are. Um, this has been an amazing journey to get to share with you all. Um, it has been an exhausting journey, but a really rewarding one. I feel like I have managed to connect with the broader world more in the past three months than in a big part of the past four decades of my life. Um, thank you all for tuning in, for learning, for giving you, me your amazing feedback, for all the hard work that you've been doing. And to those of you who have been working to support this project the entire time, um, I need to take a break. Next week, I'm back down to the two videos in a week, a Tuesday and a Thursday video, um, in order to give myself a little bit of a break, because this has been a really intense and massive project. But after that, I may come back and approach doing a video a day in a slightly different way. So if that's a thing you'd like to see, let me know by leaving me a comment. Um, let me know if you would like to see the, a project like this continue in the future because it's been really rewarding for me and I hope that it's been really wonderful for you all out there too. Um, all I can say at this point is thank you all so very much and I hope to see all of you out there in a fire circle sometime, or sometime soon. Yeah, Thanks and peace.